welcome to Grace My Space. Today, we're gonna do some spring cleaning. No one's favorite, but we gotta do it. Now, I personally don't really spring clean. I'm more quarterly clean, because in general, most people think about spring cleaning, they just think, oh, it's the spring, this is time to deep clean. But in my mind, deep cleaning should be done quarterly. So I usually do January, March, June, and September, a deep cleaning routine. So I wanna show you the things that I tackle on that quarterly cleaning routine. If you missed my January Fresh Start video, I first introduced you to Branch Basics, who is the sponsor of today's video again, and I'm so pleased to work with them. Now, if you missed the Fresh Start cleaning video, I will pop it right up here for you to watch because I gave you an in-depth description of Branch Basics and everything that they have to offer. This is the Branch Basics Concentrate, which is their main product and makes all of the different cleaning supplies that you need for your spring cleaning. Since it's a concentrate, all you have to do is mix it with water and that will produce all of the new cleaning products that you need. So one concentrate bottle, just this, makes nine of these bottles, which if you get the starter kits, they do come with specific bottles for all purpose, bathroom cleaner and streak free window cleaner or glass cleaner. And then you just fill it up to the appropriate line for whatever you're going to use it for. So one bottle produces nine of these plus three foaming hand soaps plus 64 loads of laundry. I told you it was good. In addition, they offer the oxygen boost, which I use for a lot of different cleaning purposes, but also laundry because let me just show you what I have to deal with. Stay tuned. So with the tools that I need in hand for some spring cleaning, let's go clean. Now, one thing that people tend to completely overlook is cleaning the inside of your dishwasher. You know, it seems logical that you shouldn't have to clean it because it's literally washing dishes every day. But guess what? It's nasty in there. So I have a teeny, teeny little bout of water in here and I'm gonna add some oxygen boost and make a little paste. One thing that you may not know is that your dishwasher does have a filter. All of them are gonna look slightly different, but this is what mine looks like. Friends, this is a clean dishwasher. I just ran a load. That's nasty. Just gonna take our paste clean out the entire tub. And we're gonna use that same paste and scrub the filter. And then with whatever's left, you do the sink last because you know you just made a huge mess in it. And we just install all of our pieces back in here and run the rinse cycle on the dishwasher. And a quick rinse, clean as a whistle. Now, not only does the oxygen boost do well for washing things like dishwashers and sinks and tubs and even walls if you make the right mixture, it also is an excellent laundry boost. So I can throw a scoop right into the laundry machine with my regular cycle and it's an extra whitener or I can use it as a really intense stain remover for my daughter's clothes. This sweatshirt is literally two weeks old. You'd think she'd worn it for an entire year. So I rely really heavily on my oxygen boost to save my daughter's wardrobe because no one's buying new sweatshirts every two weeks. So let me show you how well it cleans this up. All right, this is after an hour of soaking. Almost stain free. I'm gonna let her be in here for a little bit longer. And look at how well this turned out. It even got the spaghetti stain out of it, which I honestly wasn't sure that was gonna happen. Remember how bad the sleeves were? Like brand new. <sighs> Works every time. You know how much I hate heights? I hate this task. All right, I'm sure you've all heard of the pillowcase trick, right? You pop it on. You wipe off the dust and it falls inside the pillowcase. But, what you may not know, 
is that does a horrible job at actually getting all of the dust off. So I also, while I'm up here on my rickety ladder, hoping I'm not gonna die, I spray a little bit of Branch Basics on my rag. <sighs> and I wipe it down as well. Oh yeah, pillowcase, didn't get it all. And if I don't do that step, then it means that I am literally, as soon as I turn this on for the year, because we don't use it in the winter, we would have this dust everywhere. I'm gonna show you what just came off of that. I'm gonna keep it on the inside. I'm gonna use the outside to wipe down the other parts of the fan. So there's no trickery happening here. That was still on the fan blades after the pillowcase. That's why you do both steps. Now I feel like walls, light switches, doorknobs, these are all really normal things to clean, but I like to take a little extra detail, really getting into things like switches that build up dirt on the inside and make it look dirty all the time, wiping down and sanitizing stair railing, window sills, those get really dirty, especially in bathrooms if you're using any kind of aerosol products. So really getting those nice and clean. Wiping down kitchen or bathroom cabinetry. I use a dry cloth for this and my Branch Basics all-purpose spray and that cleans it up really nice without adding a ton of extra moisture on the wood. Most people sanitize doorknobs on a regular basis, but in addition to doorknobs, I also like to wipe down all of my exterior doors, especially our main garage entry, which gets very dirty all the time. And I also focus heavily on areas like the tile backsplash behind the stovetop in the sink, the hood range where it gets extra greasy, or dirty just from having steam and heat around it. And while I do clean many of these areas on a regular basis, it's good to have it on that checklist for quarterly just so it doesn't go too long in between cleanings. Now for this quarterly cleaning, spring cleaning, I also go through every closet in the house, including the utility closet, which is my least favorite because there's just so many little nuts and bolts and I'm like, why do I have these? Should I get rid of them? Probably, but will I? No. And you know how many times I've actually walked in there and been like, that's the exact screw that I need. Thank you, Ikea project from five years ago. But I do my best to sort through everything and make my home a little bit more clutter free every three months. One pile for absolute trash, one pile for donation, one pile for recycling, and one pile for what can I repurpose this for? And that goes for everything. Dishes, clothing, pots and pans, cleaning supplies, old candles. Like, you know, we've got stuff in our homes that could have another purpose or it just should maybe just get tossed. Now, one thing I want you to know, my entire video, I had one bottle for everything that I cleaned. It started full, that's how much I used. I cleaned so many things in my house and I went way beyond what you saw in the video because no one wants to watch me absolutely cleaning for hours. And so I have literally been cleaning for about five hours today using one bottle of Branch Basics covering everything that I needed to clean, including bathrooms, including windows, kitchen, floors, walls, light switches, doors, trim, all of the things. And I feel, I feel so good now. My home is so clean, it's fantastic. Now make sure and check out the description below. I have a couple of goodies for you. Number one, thanks to Branch Basics for sponsoring this video. I do have a coupon code specifically for you for 15% off their starter kits, which will get you started on everything that you need to clean pretty much everything in your home. So check out that link in the description and use the coupon code. And then I also have a freebie, free printable checklist for deep spring cleaning or quarterly cleaning, whatever you like to call it, so that you can print it off, download it on your phone, check, 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 and you're good to go. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. I'll see you next week.